The first person I'm going to meet is Melissa Cow, a scientist whose reinvention of the shop mirror is starting to appear in stores. Her high-tech mirror combines a video camera, motion sensor and computer to enhance our shopping experience. As well as inventing the magic mirror, Melissa has a PhD in pharmacology. So this is it, this is your baby? Yes, it is. How long has it taken you to develop this? We started five years ago. Now, mm. it looks just like a normal mirror. Yes. It may look like one, but this mirror is far from ordinary. It starts by taking my photo. I like the way you move. Have a pose yes. on the back. <laughs> Okay. okay, a second pose. All right, maybe from the side. Yeah, have a look. That's right. The mirror now is projecting your images through. Right, okay. so it's at. no longer a mirror. mirror no, yes. It is now a TV screen. Yes. We changed the mirror a bit to become a two-way mirror so that on one side you will see your, your own reflection right. as a normal mirror, but when we project something at the back through a monitor, you can actually see through it. Using a camera to film you from in front, the computer stops the mirror being a mirror in the area it wants to project the video. So you see that instead of your reflection. And once it's recorded you, it's time to activate its social media functions. I can see here, emails yourself, post to Facebook, share on Twitter, print photos. I can do all that through this. That's right. So I could come in here, try an address, I could even say, send it put it on Facebook and go, you know, send it to some friends and go, what do you think? Or you would love this dress to my sister or something. Yeah. And share it that way. This is just the beginning. There's a more futuristic part of the mirror. That is where it allows you to virtually try on something. Right. So if you stand in front of it, the mirror actually projects an image right. from behind the mirror. So when you look at your reflection, you see that on top of you. Right, so now I've got a white dress on. Only I can see that. That's I'm right. in front of it. Right, well, I've got a little handheld camera. I could show everybody else how this is working. Yeah. Let's go. We use our science knowledge to have an image yeah. from behind the mirror. First of all, we need to understand how the light travels and how we actually position the shirt based on the knowledge that we know light travel in a straight line. It's actually projected in front of me and I did like before you know the whole turning round. Is it a way of taking this forward as well, making 2D into 3D? That is right, that is what uh, the future will be. When all the technology is mature we can actually get the uh, images of the dress in 3D mm -hmm. and it can actually detect your body shape better and it can wrap around your body. How long will it take? to get it to where you want it to be? Uh, a, f a few years, because we're also waiting for other technology to mature. So it's somebody who could still be at school now, still studying, could be the person who will take this forward when technology catches up with your ideas? Well, certainly, yes. Further development in technology, whoever makes them, is